Hey guys and welcome back. So do you know how to create synthetic dimensions? So let's say that you don't have a dimension, but you want to segregate a couple of your maybe top performing products, top customers, top countries, whatever it is, and segregate them and put them into a different group. And you could do that using synthetic dimensions. And one of the ways you can create synthetic dimensions is with a function called value list. Let's have a look. It can be really helpful actually. Now I'm just gonna drag and drop a table over here. I'm gonna say, how do you create a synthetic dimension that is, isn't really there? I'm just gonna go into my dimensions and over here, what you could do is you could just create a list for the values of the dimensions that you want. I'm gonna say my dimensions are, for example, I want these three to be my values in my new synthetic dimension. So I'm going to do that. How do I create this into my fields? I'm just going to say this is my value list. So value list is nothing but a function that takes this and creates it as my values of my new dimension. Click on apply. And now I have three different dimensions here. Let's just give it a name as synthetic dimensions. Great. So I've created a new synthetic dimension that has the values bottom countries, middle countries, and top countries. And how did I do that? Just by writing three strings and passing them through a function called value list. We could make this a bit more easier. For example, you could create a variable and then assign it to your synthetic dimension. So let's go to our load editor and here let's say set v top list and here I'm going to put in my the values that I want uh, exactly the values that I passed through my value list that is top countries bottom countries and I'm going to load this when I go back to the front end I'm going to go here and instead of actually writing this I'm going to say value list is my variable called list apply now I have my three different values here using the variable called v top list Amazing, right? This can be really helpful. You can do custom calculations. For example, let's take this one step further. I'll give you a demonstration on uh, how you would use this. Super simple, but yeah. So I'm going to go here, my bar chart. I'm going to say value list. And in the value list, I could say v top list, kid. And now I'm going to have this here as my values. Next, I can go into my measure. And over here, I'm going to say, if value list dollar v top list is equal to top countries, then then sum of sales amount. Super simple, right? So every time the value list, if if the value list matches top countries, calculate the sales amount. So now I have top countries here, and it's calculating the total sales for my dimension called top countries. That's Pretty good. Uh, what do you want to do here? Let's make it a little more complicated. Now, if the value list is top countries, it's going to say sum of sales, but I only wanted to calculate sum of sales for, let's say, the USA. So I could actually write flurry brackets. And here I'm going to say country is equal to United States. And let's add in another statement here. So I'm going to say if now we optimize and use pick and match in part two of this video instead of using this noobish if way, right? So stay tuned for part two of this. Right. So I just need to add double here. Right. What are we saying? So if the value list that is our synthetic dimension matches top countries, so essentially we have added our dimension as the value list we have top countries middle countries and bottom countries in my dimension that we have seen so every time it matches top countries i wanted to calculate the sales of sales amount for just united states whenever my dimension matches middle countries calculate for germany bottom countries then calculate for france so this is a way that you could use your synthetic dimensions to do like custom calculations right uh, you could create a synthetic dimension and then create custom calculation for each of those. And if you see here, it essentially corresponds to exactly what we wrote in our measure. This is the way you could use synthetic dimensions. Check out the links in the description below. Hope it was helpful and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.